the sad thing is this is probably going to be my first but like last ever back to school supplies haul which is quite upsetting to me even though I complain about going to college and I've always complained about going to school and things like that just the thought about this being like possibly my last year of like education is quite sad to me don't know how I feel about it well I do because I've just said I'm quite sad but my hair looks ridiculous <laughs> Anyways, so today I'm going to do a back to school haul, supply haul, stationery haul, whatever you want to call it. If you're going into sixth form or college this year, year 12, and you just don't know what you need, because obviously it's a big step from high school to college, I just hope this will be a bit helpful because I know when I was going, I was searching up these videos because I'm a bit of a stress head, so I was like, what do I need? Um, so yeah, I've just got a few bits for college. And I'll just show you guys what I've got. And I'll also show you my bag as well because I've got a new bag this year. Okay, so I have had a like shoulder bag um, from TK Maxx. I can't remember the exact, oh. <laughs> I can't remember the exact brand of the bag, but it was just like a black shoulder bag. Um, and it wasn't really big enough and I've had it for the past two years. It lasted well to be fair. I only paid like £30 for it. But then this year I needed a different bag. And I didn't want to get a backpack just because the ones I was looking at didn't have like as much room as this bag did. So this is from Topshop. It's just a basic black bag. Like the only concern I had was so the straps here, they I don't know how to explain it. They're stitched on basically. I'll just be really careful with it. This was it was £47. However, it was like on sale, so I kind of did get it because I really like the look of it. It's also very big, like it'll fit two, three folders in, which is what I need for college. Because let me tell you, if you are starting college and you don't have lots of folders for GCSE, you are going to be sore. I used to walk around like this because I pulled my shoulder from carrying my bag on it. It was quite embarrassing to be fair. This is the bag I got. It's got a big main pouch. Love that. And then there's like a zip pocket in the inside. And then, oh. I've still got all like the thingy in to keep it in shape and things. Three pockets, a big one, a medium one, and then is the other one the same? Yeah, the other one's the same. So there's two medium sized pockets and a big larger in the middle. I can do like a what's in my bag, but I'm gonna show you guys like a little mini vlog of my first day of year 13. So I'll pack on my bag and stuff like that then. And you'll be able to see what goes in my bag if you're interested. I didn't mention it's also like velvet. Oh, I didn't think about that. If it rains, Anyways, moving on from that, that's my bag. I'm not one of those people that go crazy. I didn't get too many things. The new pencil case. I don't really know how many year 13s have pencil cases, but I have a pencil case. It's exactly the same as my old one. This is my old one, this is my new one. The zips just broke on it, and obviously I don't want things falling out. Where did I even get this from? Asda? Tesco? Wilco's? One of the above. I've been to so many different shops and just kept like throwing stuff in my basket. So yeah, got this pencil case, it was like a pound, I think. Um, just purple clear for my exams because like you know you need a clear pencil case for exams so my subjects are english language psychology and pe they're all kind of essay based subjects so obviously i'm going to read a lot of writing as you could imagine i go through so many pens like it's unbelievable because i press so hard on the page i'm like sore i get like blisters and stuff basically long story short i got new pens these are the bic pens just the black ones how many did i get one 10 or 11 just like black pens in there because you gotta use pens you know i need to write and i don't write in blue so that's why i got black that does make sense i don't really know why i'm explaining it like it doesn't make sense they're like a pound 50 you can get them anywhere speaking of pens i got um another pack of big pens but this time they have blue ones they have red ones and they have green ones um and there's also a few blacks in there to be fair I probably could have just done with this pack but I needed like a red pen and a green pen just for like marking. Sometimes when we do like self-assessment, correct myself in a different colour pen, I just thought it would be helpful. And they were like the same price. Not really anything else to say about a few pens and stuff. These pencils aren't the finest quality but yeah I just got 12 HP pencils. These were from Poundland if you can't see by the pound sign but yeah i just got these because only have a little rubber on the end because sometimes i need to do graphs and things like that in psychology and pa i won't put all of this in my pencil case just because it's not all gonna fit in there and i don't really need like 24 pens in my pencil case at one point um so i'll just put like two or three in my pencil case and leave the rest in at home for my homework and all that jazz towards like the end of the year i get super super lazy with like everything in my bag and like i take a pencil case obviously like i've just said but I have these highlighters, the pastel ones, and the only two colours I have left are these two. Somehow I have managed to lose, is it four? 
three or four of the highlighters in the process of a school year. Not really sure how, so I needed new highlighters. I'm gonna keep these ones anyway. When oh, I also ended up with this ran. They're not like the expensive ones just because I didn't want to pay that price again for me to just lose them. And also, if I'm only gonna be having them for a year, I'll just test these out. These are a pound, what are they by? They're just pastel highlighters, do they have a brand? Oh, it's literally called pastel highlighter on the thing. Just got them, I think they're cute colors. Thinking about it now, I probably could have done with like the thin ones because these are a little bit chunky, can't lie to you all. But we'll see how we get on and then if I need new ones then I'll get some thinner ones. But for now, I'm sure they will do. Got another parcel. Love that for me. Ugh. When I was making these in scrapbook for Christmas last year, I ordered these like felt-tip pens just so I could write in the book. So yeah, I've got all these. I don't really know what the make is. Let me have a look. You... I'm not really sure. Metallic pens. But yeah, they'll stay at home though in my like, little stationery. Purple, a blue and a, another purple one. Even though I'm not an organised person, I just lose stuff. Crystal? No. Oh, crystal. <laughs> Next up, I got this little set because I needed a new rubber and don't come for me if you say like a razor or whatever. I call it a rubber. Um. So yeah, it's got like a little rubber in it. It's got a sharpener. A blue pen it's got a ruler and then two of these pencils this is quite useful it's called the student set i think this was like one pound fifty not really anything else to say about that i do have psychology so i do need a calculator for that but i actually don't know where that is right now i think my sister has it me and my revision flashcards like an iconic duo like I always get flashcards because I'm bash for this. But basically, after like every lesson I do in college, I condense the notes that I took from like that lesson onto a flashcard or like however many I need. But I do try to keep it to one flashcard per lesson. As I go through the year and we have like a mini test coming up or like my actual exams at the end of the year, help me for that one. I already have all my revision made so I can just actually use it because I learnt my mistake in year 11 when I didn't make revision all year. And then it come to like the exams and I was like scrambling trying to revise but I hadn't got anything to revise off. So yeah, I just got 48 in a pack. They're all different colours. Really cute. Okay, this isn't a new item but I got a little hole punch because I am that person who carries a hole punch in their bag. I know if you do this, you're a great human being but beware because in your bag it will be covered with little circles from like the holes you've punched through the paper. Really handy. This was from Ryman's I think. I don't know if it's just my subjects, but I have a folder for each subject. I'll probably need new ones because they are like overflowing already from only one year of work. I just got another one of these folders. This was from Asda. It was £1.50. It's just a big leaf arch folder. It has a thing in the middle. I can clamp it down. I will probably need to go back and get another one of these. Or well, actually another two. I should have got two more. I like to use test papers and like mark schemes a lot in my revision. Um... I got these little like wallets. There's four in this. This was one pound. And I just like to put all my papers that won't go in my folder. Really handy. Oh, I almost forgot. To go with your folders, you will need dividers if you want to keep things neat and tidy. Stick that upside down. <laughs> That's upside down. Ideally, I would have got the plastic ones, but I just got these A4 paper dividers. As you can see here, they're all different colours. So I can organise all my stuff in my folders. Better. Gotta be organised, you know? I got a pucker pad. Is that how you say it? Puka? Puka? I got this one because, although it does do some dodgy stuff and fold this way, not really sure why, that kind of irritated me. Um, but I just like how I can rip the pages off easily and put them then, like, can you see how there's no, like, do you know how in, like, some folders they have, like, the rings and you have to, like, turn the pieces, the edges of the paper off? They don't have that and they're already hole punched for you. So, yeah, I just got that because it makes my life so much easier in, like, lessons. The last thing I got was a little notepad. I have got, like, another one of these. Is that, like, crocodile print? I'm not really sure. This is also from Asda. Um, it's just A5 because I feel like when I'm trying to plan out stuff or things like that or I want to make, like, little, little reminders, I'll put them all in here. Just, like, line inside. So, yeah, if you like to stay, like, ahead of time and know what your schedule is like then this is always helpful we have show my homework which is obviously good for like reminders of all your homeworks and stuff like that i just like to write things down sometimes this is all the stationery i think i will need if i need more stuff obviously i'll go out and like rebuy stuff like definitely flashcards and probably more folders but for now this will do me i hope this video is somewhat useful thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you wish um like comment for any more videos that you want to see from me so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.